guys, welcome to Moving On TV and The Awakening. It's been a while and I haven't done anything. Um, I've been licking my wounds, I've been retreating, I've been meditating, haven't done much work as you can see. And interesting, my subscribers jumped about, I think 50 new subscribers came on, which is interesting. Um, so Moving On TV is growing, thank God. and Thank you for that. And when we get to 1,200, I'll start to stream and that will be exciting. But life by no means is happy at the moment, but I'm carrying on regardless because I have to, because I'm a star seed and I have a job to do. And I'm here to do my job to the best of my ability. But life is very lonely and I'm on my own with the cats and I miss people, um, it's hard, and it's hard. And today I did an interview for, with Dr. Iqbal Adil, an NHS doctor, and we talked about the effects of this lockdown, of the way we've lost our jobs, and how people have turned against each other, and the fear and the panic, and everything that's going on because of this pandemic. And I hope you enjoy the news flash. It's going to go out tonight and hopefully tomorrow the current threads will go out because I need you to see it before the 29th of August. So uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I'm miserable because I'm not miserable. I'm starting to get used to being on my own. But it's not a good way to live, as I say, because we're tribal. And people are falling apart all over the place. So I thought, well, what can I do today? To help you and I thought I'll do how to stay sane the crazy world cards and I'll do Sri Baba maybe later I'll do tarot because I'm starting to come back a little bit um, uh, into myself by doing that interview with Dr. Iqbal uh, Adil um, I felt my energy came back a bit but as I say it's not an easy time for any of us and if you're on your own like me, then you need to really connect to your higher power and go into nature and eat, and take care of yourself, do a lot of crying, do a lot of healing, watch YouTube, watch silly things like tarot show as well. Silly things, you know what I mean? Things that are not going to drain you. Don't watch heavy stuff, watch films if you can without trying to get past the shit of Hollywood and transgenderism and all that sort of shit. Or just watch, so, ooh, I'm watching an Australian soap opera at the moment, which helps. I'm watching it because I've been watching, I've watched it all, now I'm watching it from the beginning because I don't remember the beginning. So I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Anyway, as I said, it's gratitude today. Today I'll be grateful. It really is true. Gratitude helps you to feel better. I'm grateful for at least five things on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. So I'm going to say gratitude today. I'm grateful for Pete Finelli, my beautiful cat, who I adore, who are just so incredible, who seem really happy now that um, it's just me. Seem to be a lot happier. They're not throwing up like they were. He's not throwing up. And they're just, she's sleeping by me. She's cuddling up to me. And so I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for those two that came out. I'm grateful that Spirit has given me the time to get used to me, to my own company. I'm grateful for Unity Prayer Line that I call every day to help me pick up my pieces. I'm grateful to the Samaritans that are very kind and listen when you're lonely. Um, I'm grateful to be bringing up everything I need to bring up. I'm grateful for the allotment that I can go there and I've just planted some flowers and some more herbs. I'm going to go there soon and I'm going to water the plants and clean it up a bit. I'm grateful for the people that are calling me on and off. And I'm grateful for those that have given me the space to find myself. For those of you who cut me out or blocked me, um, I'm grateful for you and I love you very much. And I'm grateful for Martin, my husband, that's given me the space to be on my own to assess 
um, what I want to do. It's now two weeks nearly since we parted. Um, and he's, he's with his family and giving me the space to grow on my own to know what I want. And I can feel the pain as I say that I'm grateful for all of this, but I am because it's given me an opportunity to find me, to know what I want and what I don't want, to breathe, to be in a small living space on my own, but to breathe, start getting used to Lauren. And for the wonderful interview that I was very, very lucky to have got today with Dr. Adil and the news flash. So I'm grateful for moving on TV. And um, yeah, so there's some gratitude for you today. By no means am I happy. The loneliness is intense and it's brought up everything like, why didn't I have kids? How, why couldn't I? Why didn't I adopt? I'm trying to keep away from watching the painful stories that are coming up about children and abuse and pedophilia and everything because it hurts me because I wasn't allowed to adopt. So I'm trying to keep away from that as much as possible. And, and as I say, heal my own wounds and understand that if I had adopted, I'd be in prison now because there's no way my child would have followed the rubbish and the shit and the lies and the poisons that they would want me to put into that child. So I'd be in prison now. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the 29th. I will be there. Moving on TV will be there somewhere in the crowd filming. I don't care. I will be interviewing people and film, filming it for you as much as I can, getting my battery charges, getting my mic if I can. I'll get there on the tube. I'm going to do it. I'm not wearing a mask ever, but I will get there. Somehow I'll get there if I have to, if I choose. Anyway, three barber cards came upside down. Knocking the door will open. Ask and you shall receive is upside down. Now, I kept saying, look, I'm asking, I'm asking, I'm asking for subscribers. I'm asking for support and I'm not getting it. Why am I not getting it? And it's very interesting that when you ask, you have to step back and let the universe give you what you're asking for. And so I stepped back and I got another 50 subscribers, which is interesting. So you are watching my programs and I'm grateful. And so Moving On TV is growing, thank you. And also um, I'm grateful for the people from Encounters who've been so kind and they're ringing me every couple of days just to keep an eye on me and we're doing a bit of music. So, I feel very touched by Vlad and Emily and Luke and Manuel. You are amazing people, amazing. And hopefully Sam's gonna be okay and well and Emma. But those that are contacting me because we decided we were gonna do that to keep me sane and well and balanced because I'm being on my own all the time. So I'm very grateful. They're very, very good human beings. I love them to bits and I will do everything I can to get encounters out there for all of us. Now, I am a, Aham Brahmashi, I am Brahman. That's you. You are God, you are consciousness, you are everything. Come together, where we go one, we go all. I love you guys, I miss you guys. Come around, um, invite me out uh, so we can mix it, we can meet each other. I can't wait to meet Sharon and Geza and Dr. Adil and I think Janie and Mike, they're all gonna be there on Saturday. We're all going and um, a lot of you are going and it's going to be huge. I mean, David Icke is gonna be there. I don't know if I'll get to talk to him, but I will film him on Moving On TV and I'll get as much as I can. So unite, come together, um, be careful of leaving people on their own for too long. Luckily, I've got my spirituality, which is really helpful. Without that, how would I function? I've got my spirituality, I've got my work, I've got my music, and I've got the allotment. And so it's helping me. It's helping me. Stop watching people that are telling you that this thing is coming in. No, it isn't. It's not coming in. We're not going to allow it. 
we're going to end this and it's all ending with these big gatherings that we're having and you need to join and stand up stop manifesting what you don't want that's what i'm saying as well i know what i want i know what i don't want i say to all of you out there that are suffering um i'm grateful thank you to those of you that blocked me my gratitude is unbelievable to whoever blocked me two weeks ago saturday two weeks because you gave me the opportunity to find me to get in touch with what i really want i can feel it i could really feel that gratitude and i know you're going through a lot and i send you all my love and i hope at some point we'll come together and we'll talk and we'll clear all this up because i love you from the bottom of my heart with every cell of my body those of you that blocked me and i love the fact i love my partner who gave me the chance to be on my own but it doesn't mean that we're going to be together love is unconditional and we need to find what makes us happy and we're not happy so I'm happier on my own at the moment without him. And I'm very, very grateful to those that put the end to something very toxic and uncaring and unloving from both sides and gave me the opportunity to declare freedom because I'm free now for a while until I decide I don't know what's coming. I'm living one day at a time today. I did a wonderful interview with Dr. Ideal. I took back my work. I'm happy about that. And that made me very, very grateful again. And all I know is I'll have a call today at 5.30 with someone from Encounters who loves me and cares about me. That was a fly there, sorry. And Thursday, I hope to meet up with someone who cares about me. And then Friday, I'll be getting ready for Saturday. Um, so if anyone wants to give me a lift from High Wycombe, that would be brilliant. But I will get there. Or wants to share a cab, a cab is 65 pounds one way. It's disgusting. But people are taking advantage of this and they're charging more. But anyway, get in touch with me. I love you guys. The awakening will go on tonight. And I think it's number, I'll tell you in a minute, 99. Yes, today is Awakening 99. Isn't that amazing? I've been doing it for 100 Awakenings and I thought I'd better get on and do another one. And no, I'm not happy. I'm grateful and I'm lonely. But that's something that, you know, maybe I was called to do that, to understand that, to be able to get over it, to be able to understand myself and others. To be able to find how to heal everything that's inside me and to declare freedom and be there when i need to be there for you guys when everything hits fan i get beautiful comments and thank you so much for your beautiful comments and try to meditate try to be on your own try to take time out stop running around like headless chickens because i'm not doing that anymore I'm not joining groups. I'm not commenting. I don't want to see the problem. I want to see the solutions. I love you lots. Please share, subscribe, like, and share. Come on board meeting on TV. And uh, as I say, new interview coming up for you. And I might do a, a light workers tarot when I come back from the allotment. I'm going to go and take some food with me and a smoothie. Uh, I love you lots. Bye bye.